Hey guys, how are you all doing? Rahul here, and today for you, we're back for another episode of The Editor, and today we're going to be doing some kind of liquid reveal text thing. It's really cool. You've probably seen it in a few of my intros, and I think it's a really cool effect. Also, you might notice that I have changed my background, been messing about with the rain meter. I'm really liking how this one looks at the moment, but I'm sure within a week's time, I'll get bored of it and I'll have to change it. Anyway, this um, tutorial is going to be using After Effects, so just go on into After Effects and create your composition as normal. I've al already created mine I'm doing it in um, 720p this time with 30 frames uh, a bit lower than normal th than I normally do because uh, I, I just want to get this um, done easily and so I can ram preview pretty quickly to show you guys what is happening so anyway to start off what you want to do is create a solid layer this is going to be my background if you are going to be doing this over a video which you've already created then you don't have to do this because um, you, you will already have a background but I'm just putting this here because I want to show you guys a background and uh, yeah this is all looking good and then what you want to do is create your text so you just want to click the um, T tool and uh, just drag a box open and um, create your text I'm going to be using the R which I've got in my logo Ooh, why is it blue nah I'm not about that blue alive Ooh, clicking the wrong colors every day what am I doing okay there seems to be a blue outline no, I must fix this. All right, here we go. So we have fixed the text, and for some reason, it's really bad quality because I've got this on a third quality. But no, I'm about that great quality. So here we go. We've got the R here, and you can have any text, you can have video, you can have a picture, whatever you want. It will all work. And um, what you want to do is just make sure your your um whatever you're doing is in the center or wherever you want it to be. I'll put it in the center because I like stuff to be centered. And uh, now what you want to do is create a rectangle and you want to make sure you're not highlighted any um layers when you do this because it would make it in the layer which you got highlighted if you did have the layer highlighted. Now you want to make this rectangle and um you want to make it at the bottom of your text or wherever you want the um liquid to come in from so if you wanted to, to come from the top to bottom you put this at the top and uh, side is self-explanatory so it, now what you want to do is just make sure it's at the bottom and in fact I didn't have to do this because it's going to move anyway you just want to make sure the anchor point is in the middle or relatively in the middle of the rectangle um, we can just put it there it doesn't have to be exact um, if you've got the plugin where you can align stuff easily then um, you can use that but I don't so um, I'm just going to do that and then make sure it's at the bottom and uh, not actually on your text now um, you want to then um, use the scale option and we're going to put a keyframe here right at the start we're going to uncheck the um, proportional one so we don't get it going out the side as well but um, now we're just going to increase the the size so it goes up and it goes all the way to the top and for some reason there's a stroke on that so we'll take it off and uh, whoops no you're not going to do that do not follow what I just did there I forgot you have to go across and uh, go across a little bit normally the um, liquid thing looks cool within like two seconds um, so I'm just going to do it I don't know maybe to four seconds just to show you guys um, in greater detail and uh, then you want to move this to the top so you get it over the um, text because if you did that before how I did it then it would be weird because it wouldn't actually be moving but now if we have a look at this um, we do have it going across like that and um, if you do have an annoying stroke on your rectangle delete it because you don't need it and uh, now we have it like I just showed you going up and we get into the really fun part so um, what you want to do is go into your effects and type in liquify or liquid or whatever or you can click the top and um, you can click the top where it says effects and go to distort and go down to liquify make sure you do have your rectangle layer um, selected though and then go to your first keyframe where it starts to grow now what you want to do is click um, this distortion mesh um, you want to click the stopwatch next to that to create a keyframe and um, click the view options and uh, just view your mesh and uh, basically there's three options for the mesh you can have large um, you can have medium or you can hit have in fact small now the smaller you get the um, laggier it gets when you're moving stuff around I'm just going to show you in the large option today just to give you an idea of what's going on it shouldn't make too much of a difference though if you are a perfectionist you want ultra great detail then go for the small one it doesn't really matter although it lags um, you can still work around and it doesn't really matter all that much so once you've done that you can untick the view mesh because you don't need to see it anymore and uh, you can click the warp tool options and um, these are just changing your brush size and stuff uh, I'll show you those in a little bit but what you want to click is this little finger tool 
and um, then you'll get this brush. So as you can see, we've got the brush size. So this just changes the size of the brush, and then the pressure um, changes how much like pressure you're putting on it. So basically, how far you can get it. So in this first keyframe, you just want to click and drag this rectangle, and just like get a few little bumps in it. It doesn't matter um, what's gone on. Okay, for some reason, I have no brush anymore. This is great. Okay, I think I must have clicked somewhere, which unclicked that um, little smudgy tool. But uh, yeah, you just want to move this about and stuff, and um, just doesn't really matter. Just make sure it doesn't get on the text yet, because um, it'll make the reveal um, have the a bit of the text revealed before you want it to. And then um, now you can just swivel, um, scrub across a little bit. You can do these in um, perfect. Um, partitions if you want but um, I'm not going to be doing that and uh, you can go in fact you can go just before the rectangle starts to get straight again so as you can see the rectangle straight there and it just starts around here so we can then um, go to this layer and then carry on pushing it upwards um, for, uh, you can like change around have have different goes with like different brush sizes and pressures and um, yeah just mess around really here and just make sure you're covering all the text so we can carry on again and uh, do this I'm gonna use some big brushes just so um we can get this done a little bit quicker okay it seems that it doesn't like going over the size 100 maybe that's just me I don't know but um yeah we can just move these along and then move this and yeah it's pretty cool so yeah, let's uh, scrub along a little bit more now. Um, it, it'll do the work for you actually when you scrub along. If you get a nice big one, um, you can when you scrub along the um, video, it will actually move it for you. So you don't have to do each individual frame, which um, some methods do show. So uh, yeah, this this is actually pretty easy. And uh, then we can move across again. And in fact, yeah, we can get all the way to the end now, and um, it's it's all right. And in fact, we'll just moved a little bit actually because we want another keyframe and uh, yeah that is about it so you, you can spend more time on this like getting each individual part perfect how you want it but um in the essence of time i will have just done it like this now what you want to do is click your um text layer and then on the trick mat or track mat or whatever you call it you just want to click where it says none and make sure it is your alpha layer of your ch ch shape layer one so now if you scrub across this we do have this cool little um, reveal of the text. So uh, if we just ram preview this, we'll see that it does look pretty awesome. Now, um, one thing you can do to make this um, give kind of like a better oomph to what, what you're doing here is duplicate both layers and then um, the, the duplicated layers which you have made, just push them across to the right a bit on your timeline and then um, you want to change the color of the this layer which I'm working with now to like um, maybe an orange or blue or something and then it'll have that blue layer coming up first and then the other liquid layer will come up a tiny bit after it depending on how long you make the gap and it'll look pretty cool so um I'll, actually I'll quickly show you that in a bit but um, now we do have this so I'll just show you it so it looks like that and it does look pretty cool when it comes up so uh, it, what I was talking about is basically you can just highlight these two layers control V control C control V and then um, once you have them here just drag them across a little bit click the lower layer um, which we were working on originally and then just change the color so um, say we get a red and uh, for some reason, we've got some stroke, which is really annoying. I do not want this stroke. And uh, now, if you look at it, we get some red just before, and it looks pretty cool. If you were using a red, um, say, for this one. So say, in fact, yeah, I could uh, have this one, and I could um, have this one as uh, like a lighter red or a darker red, and it looks pretty cool if you have them the same colors, but like of different shades. But that is about it for this tutorial. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Leave in the comments what you want to see in my other tutorials, and um, how you thought of this tutorial. And uh, I've been Rahul. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Catch you in the next one.